Hi there, it's me Brandy. I'm coming at you with another jewelry haul. Um, today I actually went to a church sale and I bought seven bags of miscellaneous jewelry. I'm not going to go through all seven of them with you right now because that would just be a really long video. So I will break it up into a few videos, but I will go through a few of the bags with you um, right now. I have this one here that is a mix of earrings, it looks like. And um, I'd like to get to this one as well. Maybe I'll do this one first since it seems to have not a lot in it. So we'll set this one aside and go through this one first. Um, each of the bags at this sale were anywhere between three and five dollars each. This particular bag was five dollars. Um, so let's get started. This is a rather large Santa um, on a cloth string. Uh, I'll probably take the cloth string out because it's seen better days, but this is, he almost feels like he's made of um, like a resin material, but he's cute. He could actually be made into a pin or an ornament would actually be probably more fitting for him. This is a Monet pin and holy cow, that's a long 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 necklace a double necklace here's the clasp and the clasp says monet on it you can see that or not actually it's not even a clasp it's more like where just the two necklaces join and then it has a fleur-de-lis on there a beautiful silver fleur-de-lis that's a pin or um or a pendant a brooch or a pendant I'm not sure how you would get the pendant off there since there's really not, not an actual clasp, but I will look into that. But that's a nice find. I don't know if I said it, this, I think I did, but this particular bag was five. Stretchy faux pearl bracelet, but still in great condition. And this is um, a vintage, you can tell by the clasp and the age of the clasp, but um, shell, yeah, sh shell bead necklace, good condition. This is another long one. Looks to be a little tangled, but just a beaded, beaded necklace. I'm not sure what material these beads are. They almost feel, they almost feel wooden, but they sound plastic. So they're probably plastic made to, made to look wood. This is, uh, these are pretty faceted plastic beads with some faux pearl beads, um, memory, memory bracelet. Got a lot of nice sparkle to it. Oh, this is pretty. Um, it has a tag. Let me read the tag here. Maybe. It's pretty tiny. I cannot see what that says. Uh, you know what? It's a premier design. It's their logo. Oh, that's pretty. Just some nice almost like uh, Aurora Borealis stones in there. It has a lot of nice sparkle to it. It's pretty. And this, somebody was asking $2 somewhere along the line for this, is uh, a very long, slightly faded necklace with some plastic beads. These are navy blue and cream toned beads. Uh, 
this is a pretty pendant. Uh, the chain that it's on is not in, it's in good condition, but it's um, rather faded. But it has a nice little amber colored stone heart with um, some pretty rhinestones and no marking. Um, this is cute. Multi strand kind of um, cloth, cloth type, but has the clasp. Clasp a little faded, but the the designs aren't. Love wings and the eternal symbol. And this one's kind of a leather. These are cloth, like a rope. Oh, this is this is pretty. This is really pretty. I don't see a marking on this, but oh, let's see if I can get this. It's an owl with plastic beads on the chain, long statement piece, and some metal fringe. Very nice. I'm happy with that one for five. That turned out nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, just put these in here to kind of keep them corralled and out of my way with all these other ones I have going on here. Let's see. Um, let's, you know what? That's a big bag. That might be its own video. So let's go into this bag here. This one was also five dollars. This one has a lot of brooches in it. No marking, just a black plastic bead, silver brooch. And um, this one, there's like a little dangly, dangling ball there, like a jelly belly plastic bead almost, and some colored rhinestones. It's pretty. is nice. This one is um, some purple, purple stones here and there, gold tone, and a faux, kind of faux pearlescent bead there. And no marking on this one either. Is this an earring? Mark Crown Trafari. No, I think it's a, I think it's a pendant. Could be, it could have been an earring. I don't know. I'll have to look at it a little closely. Um, but just black enamel, gold, and um, marked Crown Trafari. Pretty. This is pretty. This is almost Victorian looking. No marking. It's just a simple brooch. Not not too terribly old. Very pretty. Now this one. Now this one looks old. This is a brooch in the shape of a pagoda with a yellow flower and green leaves. And this one is not marked. Very pretty. This one does have a marking. It is, it is a crown trafari. Very nice, very pretty gold tone and um, some rough matte gold there. bag is dirty. The jewelry doesn't look too dirty, but the, it's bringing out a lot of fun stuff with it. <laughs> uh, this is also has some dangling beads here, or balls dangling. Um, a jelly belly type stone, plastic stone in the center, and colored rhinestones. Pretty colors. Red, purple, green. 
um, this other, it's a bracelet. Looks like it could be a trafari or even a napier. Let's see if there's a marking. Oh, there is a marking. Yes, it is a napier. So probably from, oops, I still have this on from, oops, sorry, from before. There you go, napier, probably from the 60s. Pretty. Uh, I'll have to test this one. There's no marking, but just a nice um, gold. Uh, looks like a leaf impression. It needs to be cleaned a little. Pendant. Oh, he's. This is nice. This is a. What is that? Jaguar, maybe. Puma, Jaguar. Um, oh, it is marked. Let me see what the marking says. JJ 1980. Looks like it's smeared, but it could be an 8. 1988. It's either an 8 or a 2. And there's the marking there on the tail. Very nice. Big statement brooch. I always forget to check when I, well, not, not that I could check when I bought these because they were all in a bag, but always make sure you check that when you are buying a brooch, especially at Goodwill, because sometimes they're broken. This is um, made in Taiwan. Just a little bit of uh, some people, and you can hear people in my house yelling in the background. Sorry for that. Um, interesting, just plastic. A little creepy, actually, <laughs> in my opinion. Oh, this is pretty. Some dragonflies with red and blue and green rhinestones. Very nice. Just a brooch. No, no marking. Uh, this is just a chain. Doesn't appear to be anything special. I don't see any markings. It does have like a texture on it. Wood bracelet with some animals. Looks like tiger and deer. Tigers eating deers. Wooden bangle bracelet. And then this one here, another jelly belly type of stone with a dangler and some rhinestones, colored rhinestones. This is just a bangle with safety chain enamel, gold tone. That's a nice shape, it just needs to be cleaned up. A few more things in here. Let's see. Here we have, what is this? A cat and a mouse. No, oh, it does have a marking. Did not look like it had a marking before when I first grabbed it. It says, I think it's a JJ. Yeah, looks like a JJ. That's a tricky little marking. It's like right in there. But it's a cat with a little mouse down here and it's a, a stick pin. Oh, I hate to pull on it, but it's kind of stuck. I'll have to work on that one. Maybe if I clean it, it'll come unstuck. Silver, silver tone bracelet. I don't see any markings on this. I'll test it though to see if it is actual silver. It's got a nice weight to it. Oh, this looks like just a plastic brooch, flowers. It's a little cheapy guy. This is a lonely earring. 
Maybe the match is in here somewhere. A little angel pin. Pewter, looks like, with a little golden trumpet. Two more things in this bag. I guess I should keep the bag, huh? <clears throat> this looks like, um, this is pretty. No marking. Whoever had it listed somewhere else had it $5 for it. Just plastic with a, a little plastic piece and transferware on, of roses onto the plastic there. On a fake gold-plated chain. And then the last, this is pretty, the last thing in that bag was this um, pocket watch. Or I guess it could even go on a, on a necklace. And it does have a hinge, but I don't see, I don't see where to open it at. I see the hinge, but there's no definitive place to open it. <laughs> I'll have to like poke at it with a pin or something to see if I can get it open. But it's in beautiful shape beautiful condition. I'll have to work on that one. And when I get it open, I'll let you guys know in another video to show you what it looks like on the inside. Well, I think that's long enough for today. I will open up the set I have. This bag here, this was $3 for all of this. We'll see what's in there. I, have, I see some stuff in there that looks promising. I have this one here, which was $5 for this, this bag. Another one here that shows bracelets for five dollars. Well, since those fell out, let's do these. This is just a gold tone, actually rather worn on the edges, um, cuff bracelet. And this is pretty, like a brass uh, inlaid bracelet. Nice weight to that one. That's pretty. And then I have this one that has also a lot of brooches in it. Oh, I see an elephant and Christmas. Lots of fun stuff in that one. And then this one looks like it has some necklaces. This one was $3 and it doesn't have a lot. But I wouldn't mind going back to that sale tomorrow to see if... Um, they were supposed to have everything for a, a dollar a bag, so if I could shove the rest of their jewelry, if there's any left in a bag, that would be great. Um, some of this, you know, is going to end up in crafting pile, but like I said, some of it looks rather promising, so we will open those at a later time. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.